Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales. It, it's 6.05 in the morning and I'm up since uh, 4 o'clock in the morning to bring to you the Morning Tales for August 20th, 2019. Uh, this is a video with my face to confirm to you guys that it's actually the morning. It's uh, 6.06 now and uh, I bring to you these Morning Tales by getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning, creating questions, going through the newspaper and finally delivering all these things to you so that the first thing that you get up you know, when you get up in the morning the first thing that you can do is go through these morning tales and cover a lot more interesting things that you would normally do share this video with your friends if you like this video so that more and more people can uh, get up to better things than they normally do at these times okay uh, let's move to the first question for today the question says, what is the name of world's largest teacher training program to be launched by Ministry of Human Resource Development? The answer to this question in, is uh, NISTA, but I have two more questions for you, uh, which are connected with this uh, question itself. Number one, who is the Minister of HRD in India right now? Who is the Minister or Human Resource Development Minister? Number two, what is the full form of NISTA? I want you to Google these two things and tell me what are the answer to these things in the comment section below. Okay, do not forget about it. Now, uh, under NISTA, the Minister of HRD has said that uh, 42 lakh teachers are going to be trained over the next five years. And uh, what are we going to do? So, in order, in order to give it a start, uh, the teacher training institutes have already been mapped on Google Earth. And this will give the teachers the freedom to choose wherever they want to train themselves and also will be able to provide a report card and a feedback about those training institutes. So now the reins are in the hands of the teachers, which is a good thing, providing them more freedom and more options. So the answer to this question is Nista, but the two additional questions that I have asked do answer them. Which country has become the first nation to release the National Essential Diagnostic List? A very important question, but not a lot of additional information available. Now, what is this diagnostics list? Uh, you must have gone to path labs or diagnostic facilities when you were ill or your family members were ill. What were these? These are the facilities which help diagnose what is the problem with a person. Now what happens is because of a sudden increase in the number of diagnostic and path labs and these centers, uh, the quality has been under question and therefore a national essential diagnostics list has been created by India which is the first in the world which is going to help understand and help create a regul regulatory structure for these diagnostic centers and also ensure their quality. So the answer to this question is India. Which state has launched school Fagadaba? I don't know how it is pronounced because uh, I believe it's in Manipuri. So the answer to this question is very obviously Manipur. Uh, the question is which state has launched school Fagadaba scheme to improve overall infrastructure of government schools? I think it's a yet another, I will be critical about this, yet another piecemeal uh, approach towards government schools. They should be taking... Uh, uh, some learning from Delhi where the government schools have done very well over the past four to five years but another piecemeal solution wherein what they're doing is ev every constituencies one school from every constituency out of 60 constituencies in Manipur will be picked up and these schools are going to be developed as model schools wherein their quality their infrastructure the quality of teachers all these things are going to be worked upon but that does not help if you leave uh, you know thousand schools and work on only one school is it actually going to uh, improve the function improve the condition of government schools i don't think so okay so no additional questions out of this question but yes the question is important itself school fagadaba manipur which state's metro will have the first aluminium coaches in India? So this is the first time that uh, an Indian company has been provi provided uh, the tender. They have won the tender. The name of the company is important. That can also be asked. 
uh, and the name of the city where they are going to be installed. The answer to the second one is Pune. In Pune, they are going to be installed and uh, Titagad Firema Bags Project, Titema. So, Titagad, sorry, Titagad Firema. That is the name of the company which has won the tender uh, to create aluminium coaches. Next question, very important. Konkan is the bilateral exercise between India and United Kingdom. So, Konkan is held annually or annual bilateral exercise between Indian Navy and the Royal Navy. <coughs> so Indian Navy belongs to India and the Royal Navy belongs to United Kingdom. So, the answer is UK. I have already discussed a lot of bilateral uh, and trilateral and multilateral exercises with you in the recent past in Morning Tales itself. So if you are a regular follower of Morning Tales and if you share it regularly, you would know, your friends would know about it. Ansuma Lake is the largest freshwater lake of which state? Ansuma, Ansupa Lake is in Orissa. So this is the largest freshwater lake of Orissa and recently Orissa has uh, rolled out a plan to conserve two of its major lakes, uh, Ansupa Lake as well as uh, Chilika Lake. What is the uh, largest freshwater lake of India? Now, there are doubts about it because some people say that uh, Wooler Lake is the largest one. Some people uh, say, uh, you know, some other lake is the largest one. Some people say Wembanad Lake, which is in Kerala, I believe, is the largest one. But it is a brackish and freshwater lake, not uh, only a freshwater lake. Okay. So, doubts about that. A uh, lot of other places uh, which are claimed by uh, people. Uh, to be the largest freshwater lake. Some people also claim that Loktak Lake is the largest freshwater lake in India, which is in the northeast region. So, the answer of this question, Ansupa Lake is in Orissa, uh, Chilika Lake is in Orissa, Vembanad Lake, Kerala, uh, Wooler Lake, Jammu and Kashmir, Loktak Lake, uh, northeast. Okay. Where was the 28th session of basic ministerial meeting? held a very simple question uh, the, these kinds of questions have often been asked in the examination therefore do not miss out them brazil is the answer of this what is the full form of basic please answer that in the comment section below okay a very simple question i am asking you full form of basic when was basic formed that is another question that can be asked in the examination give it to me give the answer to me in the comment section below so the answer to this question is brazil but full form of basic and when was it formed? World's largest museum dedicated to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Where is it located? Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a 16th century uh, saint who, who is uh, not uh, a mythological character uh, according to uh, or uh, un unlike a lot of other gods that we have. He is a saint and social reformer who was in India in the 16th century and a museum in his memory and to carry forward his teachings has been created and inaugurated in Kolkata in West Bengal. Okay, So, you can go visit uh, if you are near Kolkata or uh, anywhere near, uh, near or in West Bengal. I think it should be an interesting site. It's a digital museum and it is based upon the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Where will the multilateral exercise Milan 2020 of Indian Navy be conducted? Now, normally Milan exercises are conducted in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, but this time they are going to be conducted in Vizag, Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh, number one. Secondly, where is Milan? Can you answer that question to me? Do answer it in the comment section below. Do not search for it. You all must have heard about Milan. You all must have seen movies where Milan is often shown as the fashion capital. But where is it actually? Okay. Where is the Sri Sailam Dam, which is India's second largest capacity working hydroelectric station? So where is Sri Sailam Dam located and on which river? That is another question. Okay. So Sri Sailam Dam is in Andhra Pradesh. I'm going to answer that for you. And the question that I have for you is that where is it? on which river is this dam located. So, Sri Sailam Dam is in, uh, and, uh, is in Andhra Pradesh, but on which river is it located? That's my question, last question for you for today. 
वट एवर क्वेश्चन आई हैव आज फ्रॉम यू डू आंसर दैम इन दी कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो द पर्पज इज टू स्टार्ट योर डे विद द राइट सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड टू क्रिएट अ क्रिएटिव एंड इनक्विजिटिव माइंड सो दैट योर एंटायर डे इज मोर इनक्विजिटिव योर एंटायर डे इज मोर प्रोडक्टिव इन नेचर दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर मॉर्निंग टेल्स फॉर टूडे दैट इज ट्वेंटी एथ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन आई होप यू लाइक द सेशन इफ यू डेड do not forget to share it with your friends so that more and more people can watch interesting and important news items while preparing for government exams okay all the very best take care